It's Nails Murata and Artesian Timbersaw. There it is. And we'll see if they try and make a go. KP trying to man up. Between these three, quite hard to bring down the Abad, and then he will be put up by the Torrent, and in fact, he's just got the one level in the Aphotic Shield. I don't know if it's going to be enough there already. EG chasing down KP, and that will be... Oh! Tries to salve up, not quite enough. Universe takes the first blood. It's, it's a scary lane. Universe and Zai have to be very careful. Invis thinking. Some Kaka coming in, getting the two-man bro strike from Invis. Universe just looks... He's going for the TP out, but he's not going to quite make it. Very good catch potential. Depends how deep they want to go. Indeed, oh, back. Oh, he's a trap. Oh, no. He's just going to set up for the kill there with the illusion block. Trapping the disruptor in. To, because they already have the combo from EG, you know, the land, the arrows. Of course, there's the bad and shield to remove him, but making them further away like that. Artizi bottom looks uh, like he's, they're making the move for him. Uh, he's got to get out of there. S Triple C and Faith both looking for him. They will get the glimpse back, but oh, the timber chain, the chain all the way across. And he goes for the TP out. Artizi, the 10k madman, gets away. That what a sick. cute little play there from the boy. Top lane, Moogie as well. He says I can TP out, but no! Zai's there! He and the arrow. Six. The arrow's in. EG, take down Moogie. Coming in and KP overextending a I mean, bit. With him coming out this far, they Trouble. definitely should have potential to bring him down twice. Here's the first setup from Crit. Brings him back. It's the Torrent. For a timeout straight away. KP, he has got back up on the way. Fave TP's in. A body shield's out again. KP should be fine. Now it's evil geniuses that have to be careful. Fave with the glimpse back onto Crit. S triple see in the neighborhood as well, trying to chase this down. Can he quite close the gap for the Astral? There's going to be the Torrent to create the space. And in fact, EG jump back in. The Starstorm for Samael. They take down KP, and they may even get more out of this as well. They walk out the Static Storm, and Evil Geniuses just turn and turn around. Threaten Towers. Newbie's not. Does Newbie have Blink on Sand King yet? They're 400 short, so defending this Tier 1 is going to be very difficult. Don't even get the deny there. As EG take the tower, looking for the Torrent, but in fact, a sleep will uh, mean that the torrent doesn't connect. Nonetheless, they want to go in for more. Here comes the boat straight away. S Triple C will get the dodge off with the Oh, the static storm! Like, and now the turnaround three a trap. Massive ult from Moogie. Evil geniuses. They have to get out somehow. Zai trying to run under the cover of the moonlight shadow from Samael, but it's not enough. Zai is down. They're going to lose both of them. See if they can get Moogie. Moogie. He is going to head up to the high ground, very dangerously close to them. Samael has the DD as well. There's the X mark setup. Can he get himself out of this one? Well. You Universe and the silence there. There's no way he gets out. Tries to shove himself away, but the damage is too much. EG will claim the kill. S Triple C is walking right up on Crit right now. He's some four shots he him. He gets it, jukes out the shard. And the damage coming in brings some in. Incredibly low, Zai has to song to make sure there's no chance of a sanities or so turning around. They try both the arrow timing, but it's all evil geniuses. They mess up, Zai. That mech play does keep him alive, but they turn for the bigger kill. RTZ's turned up into a bit of a static storm. They do not want to fight into this OD right now. 70, 72 in stolen at this point. And they don't have a blink sanking stun. Oh, with this moonlight though, they will have eyes on Takaka. He's actually just going to oh, do man. out. So, they can't forward. quite catch him. Now he jumps forward, looking to block them off, and that's going to allow his triple C to come in. They will song, but that's going to mess up the boat combo. They got Sumail Glimpse back already. And that, they, they've got the kill with that one. That's the big one. Sumail down for 55. And BKB is back online for SCCC. I mean, it's, how do they catch it? They have to get Torrent the arrow. Torrent. This is the combo. Torrent there into the arrow. Perfectly done. The orchid the boat. Very, very clean execution from EG. That's the only way they can do it is if he can't get the BKB off with the full. I mean, and now that is an OD down for, for a minute. SCCC does not have buyback. Yep. This top lane looking to be in trouble as EG are coming forward. Kaka tries with the epicenter, but he, he barely catches anyone. He gives a bit of a tickle to RTZ, but EG stick around. The silence is down to KP. He's forced back. Moogie will Storm on the two. The storm on three. Has trapped three of them here. EG may have overstayed their welcome with the burst strike as well. Newbie still fight back hard without their OD. They may even get more as there's the glimpse back onto crit. Newbie say this is very much still a game we have a hold on as they bring four of EG down. And the siege comes out. Yeah, now this is Newbie's turn to go. This is how you break a high ground. The boat will come through. It's going to be duked out, whether it be Yules or Astral Imprisonments to keep Newbie safe. Jump forward, S Triple C just goes in. They jump forward with the bonus strike. Crit will be kept alive by Zai. Only just the pipes out as well. Buyback from Universe as they do their best to hold here, EG, but already the tier three falling low. They will force the BKB out on S Triple C. Newbie now looking to disengage. EG chasing down with the moonlight. Can they actually get a catch onto anyone? At the same time, indeed, top lane. The rack came through. Universe did take the top melee racks.
So EG, with this hold, with this split, they are paying very heavily with lives as both Samael and Crit go down. They got the melee racks trade, but was it worth it? Because now Nubia are back in. They know there's two down on EG. Faith will end up going down in the base as RTZ continues to put on the pressure, but Evil Genius's base looking to be in the bigger shambles as Nubi will clean up the middle lane of Rax. Still two tier twos in both of the side lanes. They're going for tier four. They're going Oogie's for the game. At least. There's no buybacks here for EG, only RTZ and Universe. Can they actually hold this? I mean, Universe is TPing back down to try and Rax again, but it doesn't matter if you're splitting the Rax, if you're losing the base. One tier four, almost certainly going to fall, potentially two. Now the buybacks have just come back on. So Mel can get back in, but already both tier fours down. Newbie looking towards the base. There's the buyback, can they hold? Arteezy with the Shiva's guard trying to slow them down. The arrow connects onto the OD. Tora follows through as well. Here comes the bow, but S triple C dukes it just in time with the Astral Imprisonment. Newbie, they're focusing the base. They're looking for the game. Arteezy looks to cut down Moogie. Not quite enough damage. Moogie's still alive, PKB out by S triple C, blinks in, this is off the game, Newbie take game one. Wow. Super impressive way. Well, it's time to get into game two. And while he's low though, Universe down. top is just getting chased out because of the thirst. Yeah, look at this with the blood run, that's gonna connect Universe, he's gonna be gone. I mean, this top lane couldn't have gone any better. For Shrine comes up, we will use that right away. So it's got to be a bit careful. Nice. It's only level two. There is a haste rune on S Triple C. He has a Sonic Wave. I mean, if he wants to commit, Zai's certainly gone. Well, with a wraparound from Kaka coming in with the Boulder Smash, Zai he'll try and play around with it here with the Burrow Strike. But S Triple C just throws out the Sonic Wave, jumps in, cleans up one. I mean, he can look for it to play around with Samael as well. But KP splits himself back up towards the top. Mastiff coming in a bit. If they can get the catch here, which he did, Crit can brings back Moogie now. The whole team of EG ready to go. In the Kaka. Good smash back from Kaka to hold back. For them to bring it down. EG seems to know something's up. There's a ping straight on the pit from they've, Zai. They've got Black Hole. There's no blink yet for the Enigma to get into the fight. Can they get it quick enough? They are mass TPing over, but it's falling so fast. They are. Walls have been sent, and EG know the state. Can Zai make the play in time? Roshan falling low. There's the jump onto the Shaman on the sideline. It's falling down. They're dropping Static the old. They take that one, but they get Rosh. Newbie have the ages, but the Black Hole from the Universe comes into the pit out for the pit. And EG. They take three. Still under the cover of smoke. EG have the ward there. They've got perfect vision. There's the jump forward. Malefice first onto Faith. Not looking to commit the ult because they don't need the black hole for that one. That's the shaman down. RTZ will transform as they may look to take more. KP control for the moment by the kinetic field. Universe keeps it. There's the three jump back in. Universe with the three man black hole. It's absolutely perfect. They take down three. They get the Aegis as well. Moogie will escape. There's Triple C, also potentially in trouble. Universe blinking forward, getting the vision. Zai comes in with the burrow strike. S Triple C, one more blink. Do they want to chase it? Universe did have Malefice again, but they will let S Triple C be. I see they do scan. They do the get scan, the scan. Connects onto S Triple C, and yeah, with a midnight pulse, oh, they're going to catch him. There we go, straight away with a black hole. No messing around. Portal Smash will connect, but it's too late. The Queen of Pain's down, and Kaka with that play may have just paid with his own life. Will yules up the SK to try and get around it, but you can't yules underneath the tornado. He's stuck in the kinetic field. EG, they're going to get both of them out of this push. They even bring in some ale to, to add a bit of extra pain there to the death of the Earth Spirit. Down for 70 seconds. Right. This should be a successful move from EG. Newbie, are they ready for this, Kaka? on the front of it all. He's going to be the one to tank it. Jump four straight away. They're looking for more. EG, they're not content with just one. They get the vision. Drag back KP. Held in the Midnight Pulse with the Necro units out as well. EG just ripping through this Bristleback and KP's gone as well. Evil geniuses. Oh. But now they're trying to bait S-Triple-C mid. Maybe this could be the play that's yeah. worse for them. BKB comes out and now the potential turnaround. Universe will commit the black hole, but he didn't pop the BKB. BKB? He gets silenced. Now the turnaround. They will take down some out. Can they get anything more? RTZ pops the BKB. He starts to chase towards Kaka. They found Faith. Kaka's going to be able to roll away safely. It's a one for one at the moment. Newbie with the edges. They've taken down some ale. Now Zai jumps in looking for Moogie. Moogie will get taken down. Now it's EG getting the lead. S-Triple-C trying to finish off crit. Earn a shadow's heal. Not enough to keep the disruptor alive. RTZ's lost the ultimate before S Triple C jumping back in, Kaka's there, looking for the setup, Yules up onto Zai, they've got the control, Boulder Smash connects onto both, S Triple C trying to finish him off, but Zai up to the high ground, do they have the vision, they don't have any sentries down at that point, so Zai will be able to continue to run, KP though, chasing down RTZ, four stack, can Universe save him, he can't, nothing he can do to keep KP off RTZ. And a beautiful fight there, I mean, as you said, it was absolutely the bait there from Newbie. 
It's gonna tank yeah, the game. Yeah, jumped on. Will get the Glimmer Cape off and jumps back, but the Boulder Smash comes through there. Trying to turn around the Universe, coming in, but no! He gets it up, but it's only onto one. Will kill the Shadow Shaman, but overall, uh, EG then falling apart. So Mail's gone, Universe just has to TP out of there. RTZ trying to man up against SCCC, but he blinks away. Newbie just chasing him down. Glimmer Cape is on him again. Crip will save him, but Crip pays with his life. And again, Newbie. This is huge for Newbie now. They can actually go high ground. Yeah, There's no black absolutely. hole now. The only threat is epicenter. No buybacks either on the two that are down. Will pop the Aegis there on the side, Zai. Trying to slow them down with the Burrow Strike. But I don't think Newbie will have any plans of backing up. They're going to stand their ground, pushing onto the tier threes here. This could be now, two sets. They just jump in with the Abyssal. The Boulder Smash comes through onto two. Newbie, they're doing it here. They've found the nearly RTZ as well. No, the cheese comes out. RTZ will survive. Buyback forced out though from Zai. Newbie still clean up the melee racks in the middle lane. And Newbie, they played this game very patiently. And ever since that bit of a blunder from EG in the middle lane, Newbie getting the momentum back behind them now. 17 seconds to the black hole. Can they kill all this right? They can't. The melee rags are gone. They make the jump in onto KP. Can they actually get this kill? The Midnight Pulse is down. They do have the Reaper side. They'll bring down the Bristle. The wards do get farmed up very quickly there by EG. That's the side lanes, down. though, that's the issue. The catapults start hitting on the shrines in the mid lane. So shrine is almost actually brought down. It's at about 150 life. And the bottom wave. Oh, they've actually found him here. They jump in, they find him in the trees. They have the shackle onto Zai. RTG post the BKB. Now make the leap on the paper. F triple C comes on the back line. Universe will hold him in place with the BKB black hole. Have they got the damage video shot? Yes, they have. Zai comes in with the AP. Hey, Evil Genius, they found two. Can they get KP as well? Samael has to keep his distance. They've lost RTZ. RTZ does not have buyback. Mugi manning up with the BKB. Looks towards Zai. Will get the kill. Gets the heal. Keeps himself alive. KP moving in on Samael. Reaper side. Not enough to bring down the the bristle, the mana, oh my god, the tower hits, is it enough? KP will finally go down. Universe does it there with the Midnight Pulse. EG have lost three, but at the same time bringing down three members of Newbie themselves. But EG's base, it's getting They've destroyed got by these creeps and catapults. So now if Zai throws the Lincolns on Universe, they actually cannot. Oh, they're opening up here. Black Hole will be committed onto KP. They're trying to burst down the bristle on the sidelines. He gets the cheese up though. Gets the two by both the cheese comes out. The sort of a Universe with a refresh of Black Hole. He's caught two. Has a caught triple C, but will bring down Moogie. Immediately on both Samael and Universe, they'll try and re-enter the fight. Samael falling down low, Burrow Strike comes down from Zai. They will fight KP a second time. Silence is now on to the Queen of Pain. The Midnight Pulse bringing it. Triple C down low. He'll lose the Aegis. He's gone. Buyback from Crit. The Islands are out. Can they get back in on this? Mass buyback from Newbie. They want to finish this game off. As Triple C jumps forward, will have the Shadow Strike reflected back to him. This is their time to end they it. They know, know that they have even Bristle buyback. Look, yeah, they know there's no black holes. They Every single ult. They are Newbie. Can Every he really hold? 60 seconds until the black hole's back, 60 seconds before Arteezy's back in the game. This is a double catapult wave as well that's going to be coming in for the 50 minute mark. As I uh, just doing everything he can to slow them down, jumps in with a bonus try, the midnight pulse uh, bringing Mugi down low, but the wards are there, Faith gets the shackles, but the force back keeps him alive. But oh, turning around with the boulder pull, does silence the Sand King, Faith, Ghost Scepter's drawing their attention towards the side side with the sandstorm, and the Malefice is enough to bring down Faith. They brought down the shaman, and Triple C jumps in, BKB pulls. Turning towards Universe, Universe keeping himself alive with the Midnight Pulse and the Ultra Recoil Hill. S Triple C blinks away. RTZ is back in the game. Back back in. Back up. S Triple C comes back. Crit brings it back in. RTZ takes him down. S Triple C's gone. But he did not buy back for that affair. He was already alive. But EG, you know, they have to commit pretty hard for this. There is definitely an opportunity to take this game if they can bring down Mugi. Level 25, a second Blood Seeker. Universe, plus the BKB, preemptively tries to get the jump, he found the black hole. It is onto KP. So they actually have the damage to finish him off. Zai comes in with the epicenter. He's going to fall. He saves he's him. Oh my man. God. He keeps KP alive. Beautiful play from Kaka. He managed to save him. There's the second of black hole for Universe. is down. They've lost two. Sonic Wave flies through from S Triple C. Triple kill. Play there. The Aghanim's Earth Spirit. I believe he only just picked it up. Oh. Keeping KP alive. My god, that was absolutely beautiful. Wow. I'm... And with that, that's CG down, not down wow. to the lower bracket. Newbie with an incredibly deserved victory. 2-0.